Hi there science explorers. Have you ever wondered how sound travels from one place to another? How do we hear sound? Well, it's all because of sound waves. In this video, we will explore the concept of sound waves and how they interact with different materials. We will also discuss the properties of sound waves such as amplitude and frequency. Get ready for some fun experiments to help illustrate these concepts and learn all about the magic of sound waves. Sound waves are vibrations that travel through the air or other materials such as water or solids. These vibrations create changes in pressure that our ears can detect and interpret as sound. Think of sound waves as ripples in a pond, except instead of water, it's air or other materials that are rippling. When an alarm clock produces sound, it creates pressure waves in the air that travel through the atmosphere as sound waves. When these pressure waves reach our ears, they cause our eardrums to vibrate, which in turn causes tiny bones in our inner ear to vibrate as well. These vibrations are then translated into electrical signals where they are interpreted as sound. So when an alarm clock produces sound by creating pressure waves in the air, which our ears detect through the vibrations of our eardrums and inner ear bones. Now let's explore the properties of sound waves. The two main properties we will focus on are frequency and amplitude. Frequency refers to the number of cycles per second that a sound wave completes and it's measured in hertz, hz, the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch of the sound. Amplitude refers to the strength or intensity of a sound wave and it's measured in decibels, db, the higher the amplitude, the louder the sound. Sound waves can be measured using a device called a microphone which converts sound waves into electrical signals that can be analyzed. Sound waves can also be created by a variety of sources such as musical instruments, human voices and even natural phenomena like thunder. Finally, let's talk about how sound waves travel through different materials. Sound waves travel fastest through solids followed by liquids and then gases. This is because solids have a higher density which allows sound waves to travel more efficiently. The speed of sound also varies depending on the material it's traveling through as well as other factors such as temperature and humidity. Now let's explore how sound waves interact with different materials. Sound waves can create vibrations in different materials and we can see this effect in action by using a tuning fork. A tuning fork is a small metal instrument that vibrates at a specific frequency when struck. If we hold a tuning fork above a water surface, the sound waves from the fork will create ripples in the water, demonstrating how sound waves can create vibrations in different objects. But sound waves don't just create vibrations, they can also be absorbed, reflected or refracted by different materials. When sound waves encounter a material, they can be absorbed by the material which can cause the sound to become quieter. This is why sound is often muffled when we are in a room with soft, absorbent materials like curtains or carpets. On the other hand, sound waves can also be reflected by certain materials such as hard surfaces like walls or floors. When sound waves are reflected, they bounce back in the opposite direction which can create echoes or reverberations. This effect is often used in concert halls or music studios to create a more immersive sound experience. Finally, sound waves can be refracted when they pass through different materials with different densities. Refraction occurs when the direction of a sound wave changes as it passes through a medium which can cause a sound to be distorted or muffled. This effect is often seen when sound travels through the atmosphere where the temperature and humidity can cause sound waves to bend and refract. So in summary, sound waves interact with different materials in different ways. They can create vibrations, be absorbed or reflected and even be refracted as they travel through different mediums. 
Now we will conduct some fun experiments to help illustrate the concepts we have learned so far. Experiment 1 is about sound waves and vibrations. For this experiment, you will need a tuning fork and a plastic water bottle. First, fill the water bottle with enough water to cover the bottom but not too much that it spills out when the bottle is tilted. Then hold the tuning fork above the water and strike it against a hard surface. You should see ripples forming on the water surface showing how sound waves create vibrations in different materials. Experiment 2 is about sound waves and pitch. For this experiment, you will need a rubber band and a plastic cup. First, stretch the rubber band across the top of the cup and hold it tightly in place with your fingers. Then, pluck the rubber band and listen to the sound it makes. Next, tighten the rubber band and pluck it again. You should hear that the sound has become higher in pitch. This is because tightening the rubber band changes its frequency which in turn changes the frequency of the sound waves it produces. Now there you have it, your exploration of sound waves. We hope you enjoyed learning about the properties of sound waves and how they interact with different materials. Don't forget to try these experiments at home and see how sound waves work for yourself. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more fun learning videos.